And you're still allowing him to film me. Your rules are right there. Like, so so those there. rules don't say he has the right to film a government or, or any any person. <laughs> I'm sorry? I just need to come in. But what are you filming? What? What are you filming? You're filming something. What are you filming? I'm here to buy a stamp. No, I saw you filming something. I was asking a question. What were you filming? Yeah. May I come in? Yeah, yeah. you more than welcome to come in. Okay. That's what you're filming. You can't record in here. Are you sure about that? I'm positive. Sorry, you can't record in here. Call the police. You can't record in here. This is this is, this is is the government. You can't record in look, here, look at Look at your sign on the wall. Call the police. Right here. You can't record here, sir. Right here. Sir, you cannot record the post, sir. Right here. Call the police. Do you know how to read? Call Serious question. Do you know how to read? Photographs for news purposes may be taken. You gonna read it? All right. on your wall. Don't forget to tell them that. Right there. Excuse me. Man. Right there. Found some untrained postal employees this morning. You guys are going to get an education. I tried to restrict my access before I even walked in here. No credentials, no ID, has for information, not, not corporate at all. Are you going to identify yourself? Are you going to identify yourself? I'm not required to. I'm not required to. Oh, you're not? <laughs> How long have you been doing this job? I'm not getting permission to record. Please get the camera out of my face. I'm not in your face. I'm Please standing 10 foot away. Please get the camera out of my face. I'm 10 foot away from you. You got an attitude problem. You won't even read your own rules and regulations on the wall that state specifically what I'm doing is allowed by your own postal regulations. Right here, bud. Look, come here. Where is it? Photographs. No right there. regulation says they give you permission to record me. It actually I does. If you take the United time States, to read it, I'll let I'm you not go. You permission to record me. If you take the time to read your own rules and regulations, I'll let you go. But apparently you want to be on YouTube. So I guess we're going to stand here and wait for the cops then, right? You guys are going to have to read your own rules and regulations. Don't delete that. I'm going to FOIA request that. Are you the postmaster? 
hiding both both of you guys are hiding your IDs. Neither one of you will read your own rules or regulations on the wall. He tried to restrict my access even walking in here to buy a stamp. Did you buy a stamp, sir? Well, I would have, but it, you told me to Did leave you and you're stamp, making sir? a big deal about the cameras. I'm, I'm reporting on a story about this specific post office and you guys are apparently the stars of the show now. I could have just walked up there and bought a stamp and been gone, but you wanted to make an issue. So we're gonna teach you. We're gonna teach you today. You're gonna we learn don't something teach new. You. What does that mean, sir? Is that a racist comment, sir? You're going to teach us. What are you going to teach us? <laughs> Look at you trying to play the race card because I told you I was going to teach it. Come right here, man. Come right here. No, you Read your own you rules and regulations. What does that mean, sir? That means you're going to get educated. Boy, you're you're trying to play a race card with me. You don't even know me. Look at you, race baiter. Because you do, in fact, need an education, and it's got nothing to do with the color of your skin, nor mine. Are you going to identify yourself? How do you expect me to listen to you if you don't identify yourself? Identify yourself. Huh? I don't think I'm required to. I think you are. I already got your ID, man. <laughs> you guys getting ready for the education part? You know, your own rules and regulations are less than like 15 foot away right now. You can read them and educate yourself. How long have you worked for the post office? I thought you guys were supposed to know your own rules and regulations. Hello. Hey, man. All right, how are you? Good. What's going on? Not much. These guys are making stuff up. They said I, I, I'm not allowed to report in here. They won't read their own rules or regulations. Sitting right there on the wall over there. They're trying to tell me I'm racist because I, I held a camera and told them they need to read their own rules and regulations. Okay. That pretty much sums it up. Okay. Will you do me a favor? That's it. Come here. First off, this one's from 1998. It's been updated multiple times since then. You probably need to get that checked out, but it still hasn't changed on the photographs. So if you could read the photographs right there for news and advertising purposes. And I'm well aware that we are on federal property and you are a city police officer. I am a journalist. I'm here to report on a story because I have been told by multiple residents in the city that you guys treat people bad when they come in. And literally, before I even walked in the door, these guys started on me. You did not identify yourself as a journalist. <laughs> you, you don't have any idea. You realize I got three cameras on me, right? That doesn't mean nothing. Everybody has cameras. Okay. 2021. Sir. I don't think you're catching the drift here, but I told you I was a journalist. You just didn't, weren't listening. Officer, you didn't officer. You recognize yourself. He needs to leave my facility. No. Uh, I mean, I don't know what the government, your your things are, and it does specifically <laughs> say in there. I don't know he, he why, that's, why is that on there. He has to leave the facility. If not, I can call the Postal Inspector. If you don't have any 
don't want to redo your job. Uh, so so it's not allowed to have the highest attention. I can tell you right now, I'm not physically going to remove him if he's removed. No, I'm not saying just remove him. I'm asking him to leave. Can you just get your information? I'd rather not at this point. Uh, these guys need an education. They, they really do need to call the postal inspector and have the postal inspector read you your own rules and regulations since you read it anyway, since it's on your own wall. Neither one of these guys identified themselves either. Uh, may I have your name and badge number? So, uh, he's he's from me. He says he's a journalist. There is he's a, what? He says he's a journalist. He okay. said from me. He pointed out the um, rules and regulations and it sells it if you can. Okay. So you can film on this property, the corridor of the lobby. He's the postmaster. He said he wants them to leave. This is the postmaster right here? This is the postmaster? Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, man. This isn't my first time doing this either. These guys are full of it. They're untrained employees that don't know their own rules and regulations. Yeah. Well, you guys got here pretty quick. And so what's the purpose? I'm just curious. Uh, I, I'm here to report on a story about okay. the specific For location. Paper or? Uh, yes. They'll, uh, they'll find out soon. They'll find out soon enough. Neither one of them have identified themselves. If, if, they're, if they're asking me to leave, I, I, I think they should identify themselves. They can do it. Yeah, they can, but they won't. And they won't read their own rules or regulations. But I'm not no here to I, I can't force anybody to identify themselves. There's yeah. No and I'd also like to state that they're making, this guy right here tried to say I, I was racist because I told him to read his own rules and regulations on the wall. That'll let you know how, how far these two are willing to go with it. Ridiculous, man. Definitely not racist. It's a derogatory combination way to say, I'm going to teach you people. So what is your people? No worries. Derogatory for telling you to read your own rules. How long have you been? How long have you worked at this facility? This has been up here since 1998. Your own rules and regulations, man. You're getting the postmaster? Look, I'll, I'll let you know since you guys are, are wise enough, I'm here to buy a stamp and report on uh, uh, the employees in, in, at this location. I didn't come in to make a scene. He took issue with me before I even walked in the door. He, he was trying to restrict my access. I told him I'm here to buy a stamp. I haven't told him any lies. I'm definitely not racist. Not, neither one of these guys know. No, you said you guys. I don't know what you meant by that. But oh, now you guys is a, is a racist terms, thing. Yeah, whatever, dude. I asked you You've to already been caught yourself. lying. You walk, into my, you walk into the postal facility. You're filming. I yeah. ask you to identify yourself. You're telling us you're not going to identify That's yourself. That's not how it went. You're going to so see you it say, on the video. So you're coming to the, but you told me he's coming to buy a stamp. You still have not purchased a stamp yet. Because you guys are so, sitting here making so, a big deal no, about it. I would have been gone asking, already. You, you're not here to, if you're not here to, to do customer service and buy a product, I'm requesting you to go. That's what I'm because You're not here. You, you told me to leave to before me, anything so even you, happened. You're, just, <laughs> you're, you're lowering. No, it's not loitering. It's lowering. We can't force them to leave. Okay, but there's no filming in, in the government proper. It's no filming. Dude, here. just read but your own mean, rules I, and regulations. I, I I've told you it, multiple sir. times. I read it, sir. But, <laughs> but I'm yeah. asking him to leave. Now, if, you wanna, if you wanna wanna make him leave, then I get your badge and your, and your badges, and then I deal with from there. Because any employees, <laughs> any, any situation we have, okay. I'm asking you to, to let them to, to make them leave. And I can't say in my, in my bills. So if I don't have any support from my local police, I call my, my, my government police. I'm asking him to leave. Okay. You can do that. I know, I, you, and you don't have the right to ask him who he is when he's walking into the building either. I mean, it's. I don't have a right? You can ask him. He doesn't have, he okay. doesn't have to tell you. I, so I don't have a right to protect my organization. That's what you're That's saying. not protect Andy. He, he I doesn't have to give you I gave him my, I didn't get permission to film me. You still allow him to film me. I gave him I permission mean, I read to film me. I read your thing right there. I didn't give him permission to film me. Okay. I, I don't have nothing to do with that sign. Me. And you still allow him to film me. Your rules are right there. So, like, so those in. rules don't say he has the right to film a government employee or, or any any person. <laughs> that has nothing to do with me. I'm talking about me as an individual. Okay. Well, you don't have to stand in front of the camera. You can go. You have to call your supervisor. You can go in the other room or around the corner. It doesn't look like he's following you around. No. And, and quite honestly, had, had they just stayed in there or walked away, I would have gone and bought my stamp. I probably would have been gone by now. But. Looks like the people that reported you were telling the truth. And he's lied multiple times already. Hey, how you doing, Mike?
Well, we're going to get our boss out here, and the price is going to say the same thing. Yeah. Uh, what's your name, by the way? It's Officer Falzer. Uh, Falzer? Mm -hmm. My name's Kenny. And I'm going to go buy that stamp while he, he's waiting, and then I'm going to come back and, oh. and wait to see what they have to say. I just need one stamp. Sir, I can't allow you to have a video. Are you sure about that? I'm absolutely sure. You're absolutely sure. Will you do me a favor? Will you go uh, walk around the corner right here and take a look around the corner? Come, come talk with us. Yeah, I can. Uh yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a chat. Yeah, come on out. Come on out. Not authorized to come out. You're not oh. allowed to film in here, I know for sure. Are, that. are you absolutely positive? Yes. Okay. Uh, will you take the time to read your poster seven that's on the wall? Yeah. Okay, thank you. They bothered me right when I came okay. in. I, I normally, I don't, I, you don't have to answer, I'm just asking. Uh -huh. What news is there? What I was, my play said he was filming, he was filming them too. He can, fi he can film because there's no expectation of privacy. As long as there's a sign that says he can, he can film. You want to talk about my police? Listen, there's a sign that says he can film. I'm not kicking him out of the lobby. My employee wants to talk to him. Okay, hold on. Let me finish talking to him okay, first and then I'll talk to you. Okay. First off, you guys are, are yeah. pretty professional compared to me. Uh, can I have your name? Uh, I'll give you my first name. It's Kent, since you guys are nice what enough. What is it? Kent. And what newspaper? What side do you have? Okay. Uh, just do me a favor. I don't bother anybody. No, I wouldn't. And, and here's the thing. Uh, no, I don't want this to escalate. I really yeah. don't. I want everybody well, to Well, these nice guys job. need to be educated. They're, they're going to get an education one way or another. Okay. Uh, apparently... Well, what, what, I, what I'm saying is you can't... Harass you people. You can't get one open customers. So yep. kind of, oh. I would prefer if you wouldn't do that because I want everybody to yeah. have a nice time. I don't want anybody yeah. getting upset. Well, first off... If you're in the lobby not bothering anybody... This is like this... 200th post office I've been into, and this is probably the fourth one that has behaved like this. Okay. So I'm acutely aware of what the rules and regulations are. I even told them, if you come look right here... Do you, can, do you mind if I ask what the purpose of To educate the public employees. Okay. You guys okay. are doing okay. They're doing horrible. Okay. First off, this is from 1998. There's, a new, there's been several updates to this, so it should be a different plaque. Sure. But the, this has not changed in over 20 years. And that's my order to the Postmaster of the United States of America, the guy that's appointed by the President. So, 
They may have concern that you're photographing them in the back where they work and stuff like that. I wasn't. I can if I want, but I wasn't. Okay. okay. Just do me a favor and just try not to make people feel ill at ease. You know, some women come in and I'm not feel in control of their feelings. No, I, I yeah. understand. <laughs> but you know what? You, you understand yeah. what I'm getting at. Yeah. Wait until you see the video. They started on me before I even walked in the door. Okay. And well, I just want everybody to have a nice time. Yeah. That's all. Uh, what's I your name, want. by the way? I'm Officer Kroon. Kroon? C R O O N, Star 286. I don't nice police department. Kroon. Oh, okay. Star 286. Yeah. Okay. Careful to say that name around him, and he might call you a racist. Yeah, are they, are they going to deny me service and refuse to sell me a stamp? I have no idea. I don't have anything to do with, with private sales or sales of merchandise. I just enforce laws. It's all that we're here for. Awesome. Okay. I'd like to hear that. Thank right, you. You too. Oh, the cops did pretty well. Are you in line, man? Yeah. Okay. I won't bother you. I told you don't delete that. Remember, I'm going to FOIA request that, and I'm serious. You're going to get caught up in an extra lawsuit. Now that you know why I'm here, you're still doing that. Amazing. You didn't read your rules and regulations yet. Look at both of these federal employees. You guys are both wanting to join the unemployment line. I can see that. Can I call the postal inspectors? Yes, I did. You don't, you don't feel comfortable either, Mary Beth? Excuse me? You don't feel comfortable either? No, Please make you feel comfortable? No, I got to leave you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Another public employee that needs an education. Journalists refuse to identify who he is. Don't know who he is. Walking in a postal facility. You go ahead, ma'am. Yeah. I won't.
So I'm just curious, if you're allowed to video record, is there like a special thing inside uh, your employment contract that states you're allowed to record but nobody else is? I'm just curious. Because if it says no video recording, you're not exempt from that. Because I'm pretty sure you're not a journalist. Because if you were, you'd know what I'm doing is legal and lawful. Never mind the cops that just told you that. Where's your identification? Yeah. Are you requesting ID? Are you demanding ID? <laughs> I, had to, I already did. You just had two cops here and you're still pulling this stuff. You think it's cute. You're really going to get fired over this, man. Tried to play the race card, even. That's surprising. Looks like she's running away from doing her job. Is that a denial of services? <laughs> You're going to be standing here, but. Much of a hurry. Okay. <laughs> You're getting ready. We're getting ready. These uh, postal employees uh, th think they're special, but they refuse to read their own rules and regulations. The cops came here already and told them so, and they're still acting like this. And now they're they're refusing to do their jobs on camera, even. That's hilarious. We got several postal employees that are getting paid right now that shouldn't be because they're not working. Why don't you go and deliver some mail? Interesting. I was here earlier today and I was working hard. Yeah. No, well, not now. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. Guess I'll just come. Up. No, no, sir. We're gonna take care of you, sir. All right. You're gonna take care of him, but not me. All I want is a stamp, man. This is real simple. Have you ever heard of a, of a denial of services? Are you the postmaster? Thank you, David. No problem. Sign in. What, what, what do you want to get? Just one stamp. Just one stamp? Yep. Sure. That wasn't difficult. <laughs> hey, 55. Yeah, 50. 55. You got, you got it right. Oh, sweet. Yeah, you got right there. there. Okay. They all come back. Any other gift cards or packing supplies needed? No, thank you. One stamp, get your nickel back. And I need a receipt. Yeah, no problem. Nickel. Cool. Thank you very much, David. I hope you guys remember 
how difficult that was. Make sure you get that on video. That's what I came here for, and you acted like a fool instead. So, and I told you I'm going to FOIA request that. You probably don't know what FOIA is, but it's called Freedom of Information Act. And yeah, you're going to comply with it. You're using your personal phone at work, too. That's not very smart. And you're violating your own rules and regulations by doing that, too. Yeah. See you later, Beta. Have a good day. This is great. Uh-uh, this guy, hold on, I'm gonna have to call you back. Oh, man. You know what, I'm gonna return the favor to you. Is this your personal vehicles back here? Is this all your personal vehicles? Where are they? Ah, oh, those probably are your personal vehicles, aren't they? There's a nice bike. Oh, no front plate. No front plate. Boy, oh boy. Oh, it's Indiana. Here's Wisconsin. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, that's got to be your personal cars there. I'm pretty sure it is. I tried to be nice to you and show you your own rules and regulations, but you wouldn't listen and you instead made unlawful demands. So I'm going to be nice again. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to FOIA request that everything that you took on that phone or your bosses are going to be real upset if they find out you deleted that. This isn't my first time doing this. Just go in there and read your own rules and regulations. Pretty simple. Photography for news and advertising purposes and lobbies, foyers, hallways, and entrances is allowed. That's been up there since 1998. I don't think that's asking much. I mean, if that's the postmaster, he should know that. Doesn't, ask, doesn't take much to uh, read, like, what is it, a paragraph? Maybe you shouldn't be rude to the customers that come in here. Because I only visit places that uh, have bad reviews generally. And you guys gave me everything. Right when, before I even walked in the door. You're treating customers like that. You work for the public. So you got told by the cops and that wasn't enough. So you come out and video record my car. Why would you video record my car and my plates? You're not planning an attack or anything on me, are you? No, I'd be real scared of that. You still haven't identified yourself. I can hear everything he's saying over there. So he's admitting that he's been told now. And you're still acting like that even after getting told that what I'm doing is legal and lawful. Couldn't get the cops to get me out of here. So you come out and harass me some more. And I've already warned you several times about FOIA. I'll find out your name. I can get everybody's name that works at this location. And I will. I'm going to guess you've been doing this job for about 20 years and you might have enough sense to know what the rules and regulations on the walls are and be a little bit more friendly and cordial rather than making demands right off the bat. What you're doing right now is probably the smartest thing you've done since I showed up. Have a nice day. <laughs>